Hi ladies, welcome back to the Hot and Healthy Hot Seat. Everyone always talks about how to lose weight, but I gotta be real, nobody, I repeat, nobody is talking about how to actually track your progress. If you don't track your progress the right way, you're gonna sabotage yourself, you're gonna give up, and you're gonna feel so confused, are you actually making progress or not? So if you're ready, I'm ready, girlfriend. Let's talk about how to actually track your weight loss progress. While well, every person's progress is gonna look different depending on their starting weight, the goal is to lose around half a pound to two pounds per week. Now, these numbers are not just taken from thin air. These numbers are basically how I've interpreted research for you ladies on what is realistic and healthy weight loss. When you lose weight too quickly, one, you're gonna lose more muscle mass, which is no bueno as I've talked about before on my channel. However, we do wanna make sure you are losing consistently. I will just add in, if you start at a heavier weight, you have more fat mass, you have more mass on your body to lose, so you can expect more weekly weight loss. And as you get closer and closer to your goal weight, you would expect less weekly weight loss. I will add in how much you've dieted before and how much muscle mass you have might impact this as well, especially if you do exercise as you lose weight, but as a general, general rule of thumb, losing about half a pound to two pounds per week is the goal. So instead of just aimlessly going on the scale, you need structure. And I'm actually gonna spill all of the secrets. This is exactly what I've done with the thousands of women I have coached. What I recommend is weighing in consistently. It of course depends on your relationship to your scale, the access to it of course. I will say most of my clients do weigh in more frequently so we get more data which is going to help with what I'm going to explain in a second but we do want to make sure you're consistently weighing in. Say you're weighing in every day. What are you going to do with that data? You have to track the lowest weight of the week to see the trend in your weight. That way you're actually able to see what is the real progress I am making. By tracking that lowest weight of the week you'll be able to see week one, week two, week three, week four, for instance, and start to see, okay, am I in that half a pound to two pounds of weight loss I wanna see per week range? Of course, things like your period, exercise, travel, eating different foods, all of that stuff can impact the scale, but tracking your progress this way is objective, it's no bullshit, and of course, it's a little bit black and white, but as it should be. It allows you to take the emotion out of the scale and actually begin to see that progress. And you're probably wondering, okay, what if I'm not seeing that progress? I have a whole video on plateaus. Just you wait for it, ladies. But ultimately, three to four weeks of those lowest weekly weights not changing, you might be in a plateau. But if there's anything I talk about over here, a plateau is not just not seeing progress and oh, slash your calories. You might need to up level. You might need to be doing more. Maybe you're not hitting your protein. Maybe you're not exercising. And maybe you are not consistent. But in addition to weight, I wanna talk about the other things you need to be tracking alongside weight as you're on your journey. And that's because everything we talk about over here, everything inside of TSN, it's not just slashing calories. You're actually fueling your body right. You're eating the right portions for your goals. So the second thing, in addition to weight, that I want you to track is progress photos. Now, before you say, Lauren, cringe, I'm at the beginning of my journey. I don't want to do this. I get it. When you're not feeling hot, when you dare I say the word, I feel fat, I feel bloated, I feel lethargic, I feel not fit. The last thing you want to do is put on not even a tight shirt, put on a bra and some short little underwear or a bathing suit and be like, I'm gonna take a progress photo beginning my journey day one. Like, no, you rather crawl up in a ball and you're just so focused on, I just wanna see some progress before I take those photos. The one thing I will tell you though, the biggest regret my clients have, well, the first regret is they didn't start sooner. The second regret, is I didn't take those initial photos so I could actually see my true starting point. Ultimately, you're on this journey because you wanna look good, you wanna feel good, you wanna feel so confident and sexy in clothes. It's not about the number, you're going after the look and the progress photos helps you bring it back to, okay, what is the progress I'm seeing in my body? So trust me, take the photo. So the third thing you need to track is measurements. So progress photos are a really, really great way to obviously see the physical change you're having, especially fat loss. You're really gonna be able to see this in photos. But in addition to photos, I love measurements because it's more of a tangible number that you're able to objectively look at, very similar to weight. However, it takes into account your composition. What I've personally done on my journey is using how my clothes fit as an indicator of progress. And honestly, many of my clients will come to me saying, I have a whole set of clothes in my closet 
they do not fit. Instead of taking like body measurements, they just put on that red dress in the back of their closet or, or their jeans that fit them when they feel their best. And as they start to fit better, they know, oh my goodness, like even if the scale didn't change much, girl, like I'm fitting into this size now, I've gone down three sizes, you know you're making progress, it is undeniable. But what a lot of women can do is actually take those measurements and have the specific numbers of your arm and your stomach and your hips and these measurements so you can actually see the progress that you're making. The next thing and final thing that you have to track is your execution. So often women are so excited to begin the diet when you're motivated, you're excited, but what people don't realize is weight is not controllable. What you do, your habits, your behaviors, your execution determines your weight, determines if you change your composition and your body. But your weight, we try to focus so much on our weight instead of focusing on what actually do we need to be freaking doing. So when I say execution, I mean the things that you can control in your diet and your lifestyle. It's the controllable things. I'm talking about how many calories you're eating a day, what your weekly averages are, how much protein are you consuming, how many times you eat a fruit and veggie in your day. I mean, I cannot tell you how many times I've had clients say, I'm hitting my calories, I'm even hitting my protein targets. I look at their food logs, I'm not seeing any fruit or veggie in the mix, or not even fruits and veggies. I'm not seeing whole grains, I'm not seeing beans and legumes and nuts, like, like fiber rich foods is kind of what I'm getting at. These are all controllable things. So we don't just want you tracking your weight. We don't just want you seeing, okay, what's the lowest weight of the week? I want you to track your execution. So take this information and think about, okay, what am I actually doing? What is my plan? And how does that relate to what I should be doing? Because when you focus on what you should be doing in that execution, the progress photos are gonna change. The weight is gonna change. The measurements are gonna change. Your clothes are gonna fit better, which is why when you focus on what you need to do, you're gonna get to your goals faster. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And if you're feeling a little extra generous, leave a little hot girl comment. Until next time, I will see you in the hot and healthy hot seat.